now that we have dropped it down to the base and it's more or less straight and level, we can take our Allen keys and screw in the two screws on the side. Now I can go back to the LCD screen and choose to raise it. I'm going to raise it by 50 and hit the up arrow. So I'm going to home it again. Make sure that my sensor is that my printer is not triggering that sensor. And there it is going into the two metal plastic. Oh, there it went into the sensor. Okay, so the printer is now ready to print on, and I will. raise it and reinstall the bat I'll raise it another 50 just so I can have room for the bat to be installed in. While it's doing that, we can go ahead and reinstall the bat. So just to be sure, I'm going to home it again and let it drop into the vat and make sure it doesn't move and it stays still. You can level this with resin and the vat installed. I've done it before and I've had successful prints just leveling it like that. So it just touched the bottom, the z-axis is adjusting the level and it doesn't move and it's more or less centered. You can tell by guiding it with that copper strip. And now we can pour in the resin and start our first print. So now we are ready to pour in the 
resin into the printer. So I'm just going to raise it a little bit more. I'm going to get my gloves because even the bottle of resin will get sticky. And you just want to avoid getting resin on your hands as much as possible. So this is a resin that I've been using and this is from Nova 3D. They say it's cheap for this type of printer but it's been working great for me. So this is a clear blue resin and make sure when you're buying a resin for this type of printer that it has that 405 and then I'm not showing the unit of measurement but the weight length is 405 and this is clear blue I'll go ahead and unscrew it and at this point before you even pour it you want to be wearing your face mask because this stuff uh, smells insanely bad and it's just, you want to avoid smelling this stuff at all costs. I'm just going to pour it right into the corner of the vat. And so the resin will kind of level itself. Or you can use a craft stick to just kind of push it to uh, where you need to. This also helps agitate the resin. Doesn't let it clump up. So I'm just going to pour it. 